सो हेलो एवरी वन सो दिस इज मै न्यू टॉपिक लॉ ऑफ इक्विपार्टेशन ऑफ एनर्जी लॉ ऑफ इक्विपार्टेशन ऑफ एनर्जी अब ये जो टॉपिक है लॉ ऑफ इक्विपार्टेशन ऑफ एनर्जी सबसे पहले बिलोंग तो करता है से कैनेटिक थ्योरी ऑफ गैसेस हम तो हम सबको मालूम लॉ ऑफ इक्विपार्टेशन ऑफ द एनर्जी अब ये नाम से ही हम लोग को सजेस्ट हो जाता है कि इक्वी पार्टेशन दैट मीन्स इक्वल पार्टेशन ऑफ द एनर्जी इक्वल पार्टेशन ऑफ द एनर्जी तो हम लोग को देखना है लॉ ऑफ इक्विपार्टेशन ऑफ एनर्जी नौ जब लॉ ऑफ इक्विपार्टेशन ऑफ एनर्जी हम लोग को अगर समझना है तो सबसे पहले हम लोग को पता होना चाहिए दैट इज वॉट इज द डिग्री ऑफ अ फ्रीडम वॉट इज द डिग्री ऑफ अ फ्रीडम वॉट इज द डिग्री ऑफ फ्रीडम डिग्री ऑफ फ्रीडम कंसिडर करने के लिए हम लोग लेते हैं दैट इज अ थ्री डायमेंशनल दैट इज एक्स वाई एंड जेड एक्सिस एक्स वाई एंड जेड एक्सिस फॉर मोनो एटोमिक एसिस मोनो एटोमिक एसिस में कौन सा आता है ऑर्गोन एक्सेट्रा एंड एक्सेट्रा For monoatomic gases, this atom can consist of uh, this atom can considered as a point mass. This atom is considered as a point mass, so that means this can move in a positive y direction, this can move in a positive z direction, again this can move in a positive x direction. And it is moving, and it is moving. We can consider that is a linear motion, and linear motion is also called as a translatory motion. It is, it is moving in us. If it is moving in a space, so it required three translational degree of freedom. Three translational degree of freedom in which for monoatomic gases. For monoatomic gases, we can consider atom as a point mass. Simple. So if it is moving in a positive y direction, so it has that means one axis is required to specify its position. When it is moving in a plane, when it is moving in a plane, so that means two axis required to specify its position. When it is moving in a space, so that means three x, three axes are required to specify its position. That's why it is a three translational degree of freedom. For monoatomic gases, for monoatomic gases, that is a three translational degree of, of freedom. And what is the degree of freedom? The total number of independent waves. The total it can move in this direction, this can move in this direction, again this can move in this direction. So that means total number of independent waves in which particle of the system the particle of the system can absorb the energy is called as what a degree of freedom what is degree of freedom the total number of independent waves in which particle of the system can absorb the energy the total number of independent waves the total number of independent waves in which the particle of the system can absorb the energy is called as what degree of freedom is called as a degree of freedom then we can consider we have average kinetic energy and average kinetic energy is equal to that is nothing but 3 by 2 that is kv into d we know that the average kinetic energy is equal to 3 by 2 why it is 3 by 2 because we, the for three translational degree of freedom we need three axes to specify its position that's why it's the 3 by 2 kv into d simple now average kinetic energy is equal to 1 by 2 3 3 uh, 3 by 2 kv into d and the formula for average kinetic energy is what that is 1 by 2 m that is d square is equal to 3 by 2 kv into d simple 3 by 2 kv into d as it is and average kinetic energy that is 1 by 2 m into d square and what is v v possesses the velocity v can denote kar raha hai velocity so that means this velocity can move in a this direction Why does this can move? Velocity is moving in this direction. This velocity can move in this particular direction. Simple. So that means we can write that is one upon two m as it is. Simple. Now yeah, small m and small m that is mass of the molecules. M v square one by two m v square. If it is moving in a positive x direction, so it is denoted by v of x. Simple. If it is moving in a y direction, so it is one by two. M V Y square. Simple. If it is moving in a z direction, so that means one by two M V Z square is equal to what? Three by two K V into T. And for each axis, so that means one by two M V X square is equal to one by two. M V Y square is equal to one by two M V Z square is equal to one by two. That is K V into D. What is K V? That is a Boltzmann constant. What is K V? Boltzmann constant. What is P? Epsilon.
absolute temperature. What is P? Absolute temperature. 1 by 2 m of dx square is equal to 1 by 2 m of dy square is equal to 1 by 2 m of dz square. Simple. So that means the law of equipartition of energy, law of equipartition of energy, law of equipartition of energy state that average kinetic energy, average kinetic energy per molecule. The average kinetic energy per molecule per mole is equal to 1 by 2 that is Kb into T. Simple. So this is the law of equipartition of energy. Law of equipartition of energy. That is what is law of equipartition of energy? The average kinetic energy per molecule per molecule per degree of freedom per degree of freedom is equal to 1 by 2 Kb into T. So that means for, for 1 degree of freedom that is Energy is 1 by 2 kb into 